Hey guys, I'm here again trying to show you this afghan. Uh, I just want to thank you so much for your continuous love and support for my last video and I apologize for the quality of the last video. So I'm hoping this one will be a little better and show you how to do the blanket because I did have a um, pretty rough time trying to figure it out myself so hopefully this will save you guys the trouble I had. So to start you just slip stitch your one stitch and I'm just going to go through this really quickly because I'm sure most of you know how to do this already. So you have the slip stitch and then you want to chain 14. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there you have your, your chain to start. So if you do 10 from this side or 4 from this side, either way, you should end up in the right spot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. So on this one, you're going to do a single crochet. So single crochet, you just go in, wrap it, pull it through, wrap it, and pull it through. So then your next one is a half double. So you go in on that one, you wrap it, you pull it through, wrap it. No, that is a single, my bad. So a half double, you just wrap it, put it through, wrap it again, pull it through, so then you end up with three loops, wrap it, and pull it through all three at the same time. Oh, that's like, sorry, my stitches are a little tight here. So your next stitch is a double crochet, so for that one you wrap it, put it into your next stitch, just there, you wrap it again, put it Sorry, wrap it, pull it through. So then you wrap it and pull it through two loops at a time. So your first one you would have wrapped it and then you end up with two. Then you wrap it and pull it through the last two. And then your next stitch you're going to do two of those. So wrap it, put it through, wrap it, pull it through, and then your second one. And then in the next one, you're going to just want to do one double crochet. Wrap it. So I do have more detailed videos down below, and I will link them in the description box for better videos on how to learn the different stitches in this blanket. If you just want to subscribe to my channel, you will see all the videos there. And I'm hoping this is good enough for you guys. If not, like I said, look in the videos and it will teach you the stitches. I'm trying to go over them with you in this video so that you do kind of get the general idea. But again, the videos are on my channel. So your next stitch is a treble. So treble is kind of like a double crochet, but you wrap it twice before you go in. Then you put it through, wrap it again, then you pull it through, and then you wrap it and pull through two stitches at a time. So you end up with three, then you wrap it, pull it through, and then you have two, and you wrap it and then pull through. So, and then in your next stitch you want to do two of those. So one. And then two. Okay. And then you have one, two, oh sorry. Then you have one, two, and three stitches left. So to recap, you had 14 chains. You skipped four from your hook, started with a single crochet here, then you did a half double, one double crochet, two double crochet, sorry, it's a little blurry here. There, two double crochet, one double crochet, one treble, two trebles, and the next stitch we're gonna do is a cluster. Um, it is a very interesting stitch that took me a really long time to understand. So if you want to just go and check out the cluster video I have in my on my channel, it will probably help you a little bit better before you try and go on to this next step. Um, but you just do a cluster here. Okay, so for the cluster, I'm just going to go through this really quickly. But again, check out the video if you need more detail. So you wrap it twice, put it through. Wrap it, pull it. So you have two, four loops. So you wrap it, pull it through, wrap it, pull it through. So you end up with two. So 
Then you wrap it twice, pull it through, wrap it, pull it through. So you end up with two, four, five. Then you're going to wrap it and pull it through two. So you end up with four. Okay, then you're going to wrap it twice, go into your last stitch on your chain. Then you're going to wrap it and pull it through. So you end up with two, four, six, seven. So for the next part, you're just going to wrap it, pull it through two at a time, and I believe you do that four times. So you wrap it, pull it through two, 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 wrap it, pull it through two. So that's what gives the blanket the nice circle pattern. Um, again, if you need more help with that, just check out the video. Then you're going to flip your work and you're just going to single crochet all the way back, 10 stitches. One, two, oh, sorry. And then for this, you just go in like here. You go right into this hole. Three, four, Sorry, uh, apparently Cooper wants to be in the video. So uh, I hear this is where most people were having difficulties with switching colors. Sorry, just let me... There. So to switch colors, I literally just put the stitch. So when you skipped four from your, from your hook, that left you with this little loop. So I put my... Um, for my hook, sorry. Couldn't think of the word. I put my hook in there, and I take the white. So I wrap it around this hook. And I pull it through. So you you have two colors on your hook right now. So you will end up cutting the green, but I'm not going to because I don't want to waste the yarn. But anyways, um, so for your next, you just go ahead and start your next row like this. So for your next row, the biggest thing you want to try and remember. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, but it just gave the blanket the texture. But what I did was I only did my stitches. I'm sorry, this video, my camera doesn't want to focus. So I did all my stitches in the back only. So that means like here, let me see. Also here. You can see there's two different sections. So this is what they call the front. This is what they call the back. So I just did the back only. So you start your single, but you use your white. So I left my green on to do this part so that I can make sure they were both tight enough that it wasn't gonna cause any problems. So I take the white and start the single crochet and then you pull it through both the white and the green. And then here's just where I tightened everything off. And I done did the half double, again, back loops only. And this is, I think this is where I ended up cutting the yarn. But again, I'm not going to cut my yarn because I'm just gonna, when I'm done this video, I'm just gonna rip out all the blanket and keep the yarn for something else. So then for your next one, it would be a half double. And then two, sorry if you hear the dogs playing in the background. And then two half doubles. One, sorry that was a double, not a half, goodness. One double, and then your trebles. So one treble and then two treble. And 
And then your lovely cluster stitch that I'm sure you guys will learn to love. So again, you have one, two, three. So wrap twice, put it through, pull, and then pull it through two, pull it through two again, wrap twice again, put it in your second from the end, wrap, pull it through, and just go through two there, so you end up with four, wrap twice, put in your last stitch, wrap it, pull it through, and then you're going to pull it through two stitches at a time, two, three, four, five, six. So there's your second color done. And then again, you're going to flip your work, single crochet all the way back, but going through both. So single, one, two, three, four, Five, oops, messed that one up a little bit. What is going on? There, sorry about that. Five, six, seven, nine. And then for your first one, your last stitch might be a little tricky to see. But it's right here. And 10. And I'll just show you the color change one more time and then I'll finish the round and show you how to join. So again, like I said, this little loop here, go through here. This is where it'll get tricky for me because I'm not actually cutting the yarn. So what I did when I cut the yarn is I also worked the ends into um, my work, which I can show you what to do with this one. So again, I just pulled the green through, oops, pulled the green through the loop, then went, tightened it here, and then you can go ahead and start the green, and I will show you how I worked the ends in here. Uh, okay, so... You just wrap both, essentially. So this is where you do your singles. So I just wrapped both. Obviously your tails wouldn't be this long, probably like half the length. And then you just really, you just work with this. Maybe a little difficult because you will have a little bit of yarn. And my stitches are really tight for some reason. Ah, but I will get it. Just get, hold on with me here one sec. Okay, there. And then you do your half double. So then you just work your your uh, your yarn in like that. Double. And see, the ends got worked in there. So I'm going to finish this and then I will be back and show you guys how to join. Yeah, guys, so I've done like three of the green and two of the white. But I thought maybe I should probably show you how to switch the colors again. Because I do feel like that's where most people have problems. So I am switching from green to white right now. So again, I'm over here. Your hole's over here. That's what's going to make it go in the circle. So insert your hook there. Then you take the white that I just left there. So I was actually wrong when I said earlier that you were going to cut it. You just cut this one so you only have to work the one in. And there's Riley walking by. Okay, so when you just take the yellow, pull it through. You can tighten this green one if you want. And then I just uh, did a, like a kind of single crochet actually. I think it's actually called a slip stitch. I don't know. I could be wrong. But I'm going to go ahead and work this um, white in with you guys. And then I'll show you again how to switch from the white to the green. So again, just working in back loops, single crochet, half double. One double. One 
Two double. One double. One treble. Two treble. And one cluster. And again, you're going to flip your work over, single crochet through both loops, ten times, all the way back. One, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, and then again this last one just kind of gets camouflaged. Just that really small one right there. Don't forget you have to do ten or you will not end up with the right number of stitches to complete the next one. So ten, again, hook in there, move the white aside, grab the green, pull it through, Wrap it around and then pull it through the white and the green. And then that's where I just tighten up the white so it's not, and then you don't have the huge gap. And I do tighten up the green as well. And then single, half double, double, two doubles. One double, one treble. So really the only difference between a double and a treble is you really just wrap the treble a second time, whereas like a, a double you wrap it once, put it through your hole, wrap it, pull it through, and then wrap it and then pull all your stitches off. Whereas a treble you wrap it twice and then you end up just having to pull it an extra time through at the end. So I'm on the cluster here. And then again, just do your single crochets all the way back. So I will be back in just a couple minutes when I finish this and show you how to finish it. Okay everyone, I am back with my completed round. So you do one, two, three, four, five, six green. Or whatever color you choose, one, two, three, four, five, six white. And actually looking at this one, I kind of like this one better than the red one I did. So I'm going to show you, so here you would cut this green because you don't really need it. Down here you would cut this yellow because you don't need it, or the white because you don't need it. But I'm just going to keep it so I can, like I said, don't waste the yarn. <laughs> this is the difficult part um, that I even had trouble with because when you look at this, this ends up here, but you need to connect it down here. Also, it was hard, I found it hard to try and slip stitch into the other side of a chain. Um... But yeah, I'm going to do my best to try and show you how I did this. Um, so you just are trying to essentially connect this. So you want to try and find your very last stitch here, which I believe is this one. And it might take me a minute because like I said, I had a really hard time doing this when I did it for my blanket. 
And then I just wrap this around. And uh, I just went like that. To be honest, like that's all I did. So then like to make it easier for myself, I kind of folded this like this. And then like this part's easy going into this one. But then you've got to find your next stitch on this one, which again I said I found was the hardest part. So right there. And then for this one, I just pulled this through like that. So again, I'll just continue to show you how to do this until I'm done. Uh, two, three. I'm sure there are other ways to do this, but this is just how I did it on mine again. There are probably other ways. This is just what I found was the easiest for me. And this is what I like understood from reading the pattern was to do it like this. And then when I got to the top, I did do, um, so there's your round there. And then I like went around and did single stitches in the red on mine just to give it like a little border. And that way I did find it a little easier to attach all the rounds together. So there is the completed, um, round. So again, to recap, chain 14 at the beginning here, 4 from the hook, 10 from this side, single crochet, half double, 1 double, 2 doubles, 1 double, 1 treble, 2 trebles, and then a cluster, and you crochet back, there's a single crochet in both loops all the way back, join the color, switch, and then in the back loops only, single, half double, double, two double, double, treble, two treble, cluster, single crochet all the way back. And then that's how you join it. So you do end up doing six colors of each. So six, six color changes. And then I did 46 of these rounds. And literally after I did the single crochet border, I literally just sewed the pieces together. That's all I did. I sewed it and that is it. So hopefully... This helps you guys better, and again, you don't have to do these colors. You can do whatever colors you want, but in the picture I saw, I found it, like, really holiday-themed, and I really actually like the blanket, but like I said earlier, I do kind of like the green a little better, but I'm sure it'd look better in different colors as well, or just look equally as good in different colors. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and I hope it helped you out and I hope you have fun making your new blankets and I hope they turned out the way you want it. If you do have any questions, please feel free to answer or please feel free to comment and I will try my best to answer. I will try and put a written pattern down, but like I don't have the pattern anymore. So I just went off. I literally just went off my old video to give you guys this pattern and that's all I did. So I'm hoping this helps you and thanks so much for your continuous love and support and thank you so much for watching. 